Okay, I want to just go through two different types of the merge function. So if you come over here and you've got your two spheres in the scene and you switch the little tick to the left on, you'll see that you can now combine the two of them. And there's two ways to do it, simple merge and voxel merge. So obviously they're not overlapping. So before we do that, let's put our top right, we'll put close panel on interaction off. So that means that the panels will stay open for us now. And then we'll get the two spheres and we'll take the gizmo for move and we'll bring the two together. So they're now overlapping. So why have we done that? So let's now describe what happens with the two types of merge. So the first one we're gonna do is the two of them switched on and we'll use the voxel merge here. So I'm gonna slide the slider high and that'll give us quite a, a, a nice high resolution merged set of spheres. So let's do it and see what happens. So we'll just use voxel merge. Multi-resolution will be lost. That's because it was subdivided when we had it um, initially open and they're now merged. Now, what does that mean? So because they're merged, if we use the move tool or move brush and we move them around, I'll turn symmetry off first, move it around, you can see it's affecting both parts. But that could be that one's inside the other and it's just grabbing them both. Well, it's not because voxel merge removes uh, everything from inside. How do we know that? So if we go to up to here and pick SEL mask and then rectangle, draw a mask and this button at the bottom right, we'll hit mask and you can see that what it shows you is inside is completely empty and the two spheres have welded together. So we know that voxel merge recalculates the mesh on the outside and removes the inner. So that's quite useful. So we'll go back to there and we'll go back even one more and we've got the two separate spheres again. So I'm just double finger tapping to, to, to go back. So let's do it again. We'll just slide over and we'll make sure that the two of them are together. So we'll do this one and we'll bring it across so it's inside. And then this time we're going to go tick and they're both selected and we'll do simple merge. And you can see it looks exactly the same. They're both merged. Go back and use the move brush and same effect again. Just turn that symmetry off and you can move it all around like so. But as you see, it's only moving one or the other. Watch. So if I move this side, it's only moving this one. This side, it's only moving this one. So why is that happening? Why is it not moving them both at the same time? So you need to come up here and look at the stroke uh, move uh, settings go down to the bottom of there and where it says connected topology it's on turn that off and you can see now it's dragging both so you can literally drag both of them and it's moving them um, as a group so it's based on the area of effect of the brush now what's happened inside well I think you already know but unlike voxel merge let's do the same thing SEL mask rectangle, mask it off, button at the bottom and we'll hide it and then we'll have a look what has happened inside. Well, it's left it exactly as we would have imagined. So what it's actually done is it's just combined the two into one object, but it hasn't done anything to the topology. It's just made two the same object. So you need to be aware of that because that's two very different things. And, and if you want to merge something, that's absolutely fine. And it will use the voxel merge and it will change the topology. But the simple merge will just combine the two and you will only have one object like that. So it's a good one to know for when you're going out to other programs. Because sometimes you will want to voxel merge and sometimes you will just want to simple merge. And then you can split them up again in other programs. Or, or you know, once you've done a voxel merge, you can't split them up again without doing other work. So just bear those two in mind as you're uh, editing your geometry. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up. It does help us to show our work to other artists in the future. And if you do like what we're doing, then please subscribe. We've got videos coming out every Wednesday and every Friday. And if you hit the notification bell, we can let you know when we're getting the next ones out. Have a great week, everybody.